we can also see that generative adversarial networks are useful for unsupervised learning, where we are not really able to collect labeled data um, because of the, the logistical challenges of trying to get those labels. In this paper from NVIDIA by Ming-Yu Liu, we see that it's possible to train a generative adversarial network to convert night videos, or sorry, to convert day videos into night videos. If you think about how challenging it would be to collect the training data for this, you see that there would be a lot of logistical challenges that don't have any obvious way of being overcome. If you wanted to make a collection of training data with a pair of an image in the daytime and the same image at nighttime, repeated millions of times over, for every day image, you would need to record all of the cars that were on the road, where they were on the road, what direction they were traveling, and so on. And then get all those cars to come back to the same place and reenact exactly the same video sequence at night. That's the way that traditional supervised learning would need to have the data prepared in order to solve this problem. With generative adversarial networks, it's possible to do what's called unsupervised image-to-image -image translation. Instead of training on pairs of images from one domain and images from the other domain, uh, the model trains on a large collection of individual images taken at day and a large collection of individual images taken during the night. There's no need for the same image to appear in both of these sets of data, and there's no need for any of the images to be aligned into pairs of equivalent images across the two domains. Instead, the generative model learns to transform a day image and produce a night image, and then the discriminator evaluates whether that is a realistic night image. It doesn't need to have a specific target that it's trying to hit.